Happy Monday. We're in James chapter 4. We have uh, recently been talking about conflict. Um, I noted the need to address it in a timely manner and the need to own our own stuff. Uh, I noted that we have blind spots and that, uh, you know, uh, confirmation bias is a real thing. We have to be careful of that. Life often wears us down, and the older we get, the more we start to recognize that maybe we're not quite as... um, full of insight as we thought we were, but not always. Some people seem to make it through all of life without ever being um, slowed down that way. The more you have, the more power, the more money, the more whatever, uh, the less likely you are to have other people tell you when you're wrong. So anyway, um, in James chapter four, we're told to be alert to some of those things. And James chapter four, one reads, what causes quarrels and conflicts um, among us? Is it not this that you, excuse me, among you, is it not this that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions, you adulterous people. So, um, Today, I want us to think for a moment about desire. Uh, The term in the Greek here is hedonon, from which we get the English word hedonism, which is the uh, pursuit of pleasure. It makes pleasure a god. Pleasure is the highest good. Go after pleasure. So I want to be clear. There is nothing wrong with pleasure. God wired us for pleasure. Uh, First Timothy tells us that God gave us all things for us to richly enjoy. So I want to make really three points. Number one, (laughs) there's nothing wrong with pleasure. There are worldviews. There are religions. Buddhism, for instance, would suggest that the way to find peace is is to squelch desire, to not have any desire. If you don't want, then you can't be disappointed, right? Jesus does not teach that. Uh, Desire is not inherently bad. It can drive us to noble and good things. Uh, The thirsts and hungers that we have are important and God-given. We need to be alert to them. So, number one, there's nothing wrong with desire. Number two, there's nothing wrong with desiring pleasure. Uh, There's nothing nothing noble about seeking pain, right? The aesthetic, excuse me, the aesthetics, the ascetics, uh, those that that were disciplining themselves and punishing themselves. There's, There's nothing noble about that. I mean, We do need to discipline ourselves from desires after the wrong things. Uh, But there is nothing wrong about, nothing inherently wrong uh, about desiring pleasure. Number three, uh, we have to be alert to the fact that desire, like some other things, such as anger, uh, is something that can easily turn on us and can lead us astray. So I want to just basically leave you with this. Um, It is a sin to let our desires go in the wrong direction. And it's also stupid. So it's a sin because, look, we we need to rightly order our lives so that our lives uh, reflect that, that the highest good, our greatest love, is God. And anything that is more important to us, whether it's desire or money or something else, uh, is misplaced. It becomes an idol. And that's sin. Secondly, you have to understand that that sin is not only wrong before God, it's ultimately self-destructive behavior. Uh, So sin never works. It always is damaged good. It's always going to come up short. And we get this. This is one of the helpful things about hedonism. You get it when you see hedonism. So just think, if what you love most of all is chocolate cake, I'm picking, obviously, a very safe example here. If what you love most of all is chocolate cake, and you decide, I'm just going to eat chocolate cake, okay, it, it just doesn't work, right? Pretty soon you hate chocolate cake. And so chocolate cake, in its place, right, after a dessert occasionally to have, a, after a, a nice meal to have an, an occasional dessert of chocolate cake is fine. And it's a good thing, and and you like it more than if you have it all the time. Hedonism is like that. If you pursue pleasure, the pleasure, which is not God, is ultimately going to let you down. So uh, be careful with desire. It's not wrong. 
And desiring pleasure is not wrong. It's just the byproduct of a life rightly lived. It's not something we can go right after. Have a good day.